Hi guys, welcome to my channel, which I have so long delayed the start. And by this first video, I'm starting a brand new series called How I Made It. This particular series is not gonna be strictly musical. I just want it to be a cool place where I'll expose some secret keys of mine in producing my tracks. I'll also reveal many behind the scenes and untold stories related to one single production time by time. In some cases, I will technically read down my productions so that for the very first time, all of you guys can take a look into my super classic tracks productions engine. But before all of that, please make sure you have subscribed to this channel by also clicking the bell to be notified as a brand new video is released. So, this first video is on one very old Eurobeat production of mine called Dancing by Vicky Vail. Throughout the years I've been sadly and strongly asked for more details about a few sound sources in the song like the almighty cool vibration voice, the prophet synth-like intro sequence, the verse techno synth sequence, and the yelling go voices. Well, the day has come and we'll jump right into all the above after the intro. Like I said, so many fans asked me about the cool vibration voice, and it's about time I tell you about it. During 1996 when Dancing was made, brother Fausto Gio needed to run some urgent business and flew back to New York. On the other hand, I had to keep my techno production on a fast lane back then, so I had been forced in finding some temporary supply rapper. I've been auditioning a few of them at my own Maverick studio in Milan, and one of them had such a unique voice, and so I decided to go for only one techno track with him in order for me to test his style with the Asian audience. Such a track is Do You Need Me by Slow Motion. The dude started with this incredibly low pitched, still powerful voice tone, which immediately drove me insane. I remember I just got a couple of different takes out of it. The very first one was more suitable for the track concept, and so I kept it for Do You Need Me mix down. Check it out. Do you really want to get into it? find the link for this track in the description below. By the way, I'm sure you guys have recognized the cool vibrations voice tone already. In fact, the second take, the one I took away from Do You Need Me, was a kind of charmer voice like mm -hmm, cool vibrations baby. And so I decided to shift it to one Eurobeat track which I was working on to those days. Dancing by Vicky Vale. So, here's the original dry take as well as the guy spoke it to the mic that day for Do You Need Me session. Cool vibrations. <laughs> I swear, man, I didn't know I pitched that down. It's totally his genuine voice. Anyway, I still don't know much about him to these days, but I never heard of him again. I hope he's fine, of course, but the guy just disappeared into the midst of that rapping sessions day. Another bunch of people asked me about the aggressive synth sound in the intro. Well, believe it or not, that was made by many different layers sound, which is my usual way. That was only one preset alone from Clavia Nord Lead 1, this guy here. And here's the original recorded sequence straight from my DAW. Music 
Musically speaking, dancing verse course progression is very similar to Tora Tora Tora's. I could easily put it this way. Back then, I've been writing dancing new melody line right on top of Tora Tora Tora's verse model course progressions or so. Coolest fans know that Tora Tora Tora's verse is one of my favorite ever among hundreds of tunes I've composed so far. Each and every single detail in such a verse arrangement is still crystal clear in my mind and it will never go away, I believe. That's why back then I've also put such a familiar scene part into dancing verse arrangement by different sound sources, of course. Check it out in solo mode. Does it sound familiar to you too? Now check out dancing instrumental verse and try to sing Tora Tora Tora's verse along with it. Ready, 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 I, I, ready to take off. And here goes dancing original verse with the lead voice on. The very last question which I'd like to answer today is about the yelling gold voices. Well, that is quite simple to tell. I needed some kind of countdown voice, especially for the intro part. Something very energetic, which could have given me a kind of boost right before the synth phrase part. Didn't find any satisfying sample in my library back then, so I took Fausto Gio's Let's Go from one previous hyper techno production sound sources. This track was called High Voltage by MMM featuring Lady Lust. Of course, I took Let's Away and kept Go this way. And that was it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this How I Made It video. If so, please click on the thumb up below and bring me a great deal of pleasure by increasing this channel's subscribers amount. Stay safe and peace out. Ciao.